sometimes if you get results that are too good to be true, they, they, they are. Um, the last um, video that I did on the Q200 uh, series, I did some shoots with uh, Cyclone flywheels in the stock cages. I saw numbers for, um, for elites and for kush darts at uh, around 205. And then after that, I did a video on the uh, open flywheel cage and the high crush cage with the cyclone wheels and I put a bunch of darts through it and things and I got some 168 average on um, uh, the waffle darts. So I threw that up on, on Reddit and, and one of the users, Michelle, who's um, uh, putting together from Foam Blast, came back and said, yeah, that's neat. Those numbers look a little hot. Let me test them myself. And so she put together a rig that was identical to mine tested it and she got an average of 150 and we went back and forth over about three or four days evaluating all the different possible variables everything and the long story short is my chronograph is reading hot uh, i finally got to that conclusion when i put a fire strike over it and shot an 80 fps average on a stock fire strike and uh, stock fire strikes don't shoot 80 fps average so it's reading about 10 percent high and so what it means for this series of videos is that i'm going to have to correct for that uh, um that uh, error within my my chronograph so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take and i'm going to i'm going to peel 10 percent off of of the number so if i'm shooting around 200 i'm going to scale that back down to about 180. Uh, and then do that on the comparison of the numbers. So the 200 FPS um, bar that I'm looking to reach still is what I want to reach, but I want a real 200 FPS, not what my chrono is saying. So I'm going to need to be in the 220 range uh, to actually do that. So, you know, I thought I'd gotten over 200 with that last shoe, but it turns out it was probably around 190, high 180s with that doll. So up next is now I'm going to put the open flywheel high crush cages into the test rig with the cyclone flywheels and then put that over the chronograph do some shooting with that and then see what the results are for there so let's go inside we're going to put those in i'll get a picture of of those in the in the blaster and then uh, go out and uh, put it over the chronograph all right so i've got the open flywheel project high crush cage installed here and the way i did the, my, my screw ports i've got a modulus cage and i've got two strife cages now I had to make a little bit of alteration on these uh, two strife cages to get them to fit in here. The, the biggest thing was the dart guides kind of bumped into. I was able to save most of the dart guide on this cage, but I had to cut about half of that dart guide off here. The modulus cage, no, fine, no problem. Uh, I also had to sand just a little bit here to get them to squeeze in close enough. But this kind of gives you a, a good look uh, as to uh, what the cage setup is uh, internally that I'm going to take outside and shoot. All right, so at this point, close the blaster up, and we're going to go out and, and uh, shoot the thing. Okay, quick note on the Elite shoot. Um, you can this dart probably shows it the best, but uh, the, there's a slight alignment issue, and for some reason it only affected the Elite darts. I'm, I think it's a slight alignment issue, and so the reason why the Elite, elite dart shoot was worse than the last one is because it's actually catching on uh, the end of the of the third flywheel cage. And this dart you can probably see it the best right there. 
it actually took a chunk out of the dart as it was leaving the flywheel cage. So the reason those were uh, slower is because a lot of them were hitting the uh, at third and very end of the flywheel cage as they came out. So looking at the results, it looks like my chrono readings on both of the Kush and uh, the waffle darts were coming in in the mid 220s. And so if I correct that for the error that I know my chronograph has, that puts me down around between 200 and 205 uh, FPS, real FPS, not uh, inflated chronograph FPS over the thing. So this is a, a very positive re result. Uh, pretty good consistency numbers with the Kush. Uh, you could see from the shoot though that they did want to fishtail right when they came out. 200 FPS is... Um, too fast aerodynamically for those Kush darts and, and they, they went all over the place until they got down to about that 150 range and then they straightened up. So that was good FPS numbers uh, but from a, a real practical standpoint they're probably not a great uh, idea here. But the waffle darts, uh, real FPS over 200 and nice dead straight aerodynamics coming out of the, out of the blaster. I've, you know, it's not a a perfect accuracy. I mean, I've shot ones that are better, but I've also shot Nerf guns that are a lot, lot worse coming out with those those Kush darts. Those Kush darts were coming out nice and straight, pretty good line, coming right on target. And remember, I was shooting at 50 feet. This is uh, beyond normal uh, Nerf type engagement range. Usually I, want to, I like to test at 30, 30 to 40, and this was 50. So I stepped back another 10, 15 feet, 10 to 20 feet from where I normally shoot them for, for this shoot, kind of to show the full arc of how these things, how these things fly in here. So at this point, I've got my 200 FPS, real FPS this time, and um, I am very satisfied with, with the results and where this is put out. So as far as this project's I'm still debating doing a couple more things. I haven't made up my mind yet. But the one thing I will do, and, and I'll, I'll feature this in the coming months, is I'm going to turn this thing into a, a real blaster. I'm going to take that test rig and uh, do some shell work, uh, put some details on the side, give it a nice paint job, and, and, and put it into something that uh, you could actually take out and, and uh, um, show off a little bit. So anyways, uh, this was the Open Flywheel Project High Crush Cage with Cyclone flywheels in my Quest for 200 project. Thanks for watching.